Yeah, I'm trying to connect and it didn't, it didn't let me. Oh, they didn't, didn't let you in. Yeah, um, I assume that's why. Maybe I can screen share yeah. so that you can see my game. How's that working? I believe I've lost my webcam though. Yeah, it's all good. Shouldn't matter. Okay. Okay. Well, answer, answer's kind of Quick cleaning stop. this up already. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Clean edge guard. And this is this is already looking kind of bad for Ryze on a neutral. Yeah. Uh, Amsa just looks like he's kind of quicker quicker than him. Mm. And kind of implementing what you were saying earlier about just always kind of being one step ahead yeah. with uh, you know the game plan and what he's looking for, what things are going to lead to, and what situations he's going to put himself in with the options that he chooses. Mm. And I guess that's but the mark Ryzen's of a staying... strong player, right? Yeah, but Ryzen's like even in it. Yeah. That was a very convincing, like, sort of comeback. He kind of grinded away that uh, that first stock of Amsa. Yeah. And the, Which I think yeah. is like the most crucial thing against good players, is staying composed. It's yeah, so easy absolutely. to feel overwhelmed. Yeah. Especially players of like these caliber. Oh, that grab. That whiff grab cost him his yeah. stock. I don't know. I don't know quite what he was looking for there with that grab. But I mean, obviously he was looking for a grab, but I don't. I don't know why he was expecting Armstead to, to fall into that one. Okay, no tech chases from Armstead. It is. It is also online. Yes, we are on. And not only is it online, it's online from different <laughs> content. Uh, not yeah. from different uh, regions. So. And I think it's it's getting to the point now where Amsa is kind of punishing Ryzen's options in neutral by just throwing out defensive F tilts and fares. Mm. And just kind of with punishing a lot of the options he's choosing to go for. Like that grab that we were talking about, for example, yeah. and some of Ryzen's approaches. It feels like it's getting to that stage you mentioned where Ryzen is kind of getting overwhelmed and is now almost playing more aggressive in a way to try and deal with it. Yeah, but which isn't ill-advised as chic. You can be aggressive, but is it in a in a way that's too predictable? Yeah. And are you being mindful of the counterplay that chic has to what you're doing, right? Like with like her fair is huge. Her F tilt is a very good anti approach in general and anti air. Those sounds look really nice. Um. Really good awareness by Ryzen that he wasn't going to get clipped by that aerial. Yeah, he's looking good now. He's really, he's really putting the pressure on. Yeah. And he's pressing the advantage that he's getting in. He's getting in neutral. Oh, that gave me a lot of confidence though. as well. When he missed that, um, when he missed that exchange, there was like an area there where we had, we had the punish, but he just like spaced himself poorly, but immediately recognized he was in a bad position and could no longer complete his punish, and just took stage. I was like, well. I've made my mistake, I'm not going to overextend, I'm not going to try and save it. Yeah, and it's really good to know when to uh, back off, right? Yeah. In any in any game you play, I think that's one of the, the key skills you can learn is when not to overextend. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Amsa cleans that up, but... Ryzen brought it to last stock with a really good yeah. whiff punish, um, whiff punish pivot. It looked like a pivot up smash on the whiffed dash attack, and it looked yeah. like it was on reaction as well. That was really good. That was good. Yeah, so That's yeah, like you were saying, Ryzen has some, he's looking like he's got some good confirms, but I think the neutral, maybe he's trying to, I feel like he's trying to match that top player pace too much in terms of how fast he's trying to play. And it's mm. not, at least to me, it doesn't look like it's looking as clean, like fra frame perfect wise. Yeah. But I think when, when Ryzen does get something going, he, he's pressing it really well. I think he's pushing his, his advantage as well. Mm. I think so too, yeah. I feel like he knows his like, percents and stuff as well. Like The way he's yeah. playing is very, like, this is how Fox plays the matchup. Yeah. And that was a really good, that was really good by Rise on there with the run up shield and then uh, with punishing the unsafe aerial. Mm. Okay, is he tech chasing? Oh no, I read the miss tech, didn't quite get it. Didn't get the re-grab, but if it, if it doesn't work, do it again. <laughs> Ooh, he's oh, he's alive! Oh my god, Randall, let's go! Oh, Randall wow, again. that fair is so, oh, wild, so in. big! Oh, NTSC Fox! Got a bit trapped on the corner there. 
Yeah, reacts to the the tournament winner. Oh man, the plus 100 get up, he couldn't punish. That was the strangest conversion. That was a very, very scrappy first dog. Yeah. I don't feel like that was the most optimal punish on the get up. It doesn't feel like Ryzen's that confident around the ledge. <laughs> no. And he's not quite reacting to the situations that are happening on the edge. Yeah. As well. But Ryzen manages to take the, take the first stop. Oh, his and... yeah. Oh, after, yep, those, uh... after dipping down and losing his for free. Just reacting a little bit late, arm says. Makes it back. Oh. Nice ledge option to get back and to the stage. Neither one of these players are looking very confident in their movement. I can't help but think that maybe some... Maybe choppiness on their end. Or maybe, a, little, maybe. a little less ping, or a little higher ping than they had to deal with in their previous games. So I'm just not used to seeing this kind of like... A, like when they're in their shields, they just kind of stay in there a bit too long, or they just drop shield and stand around for a bit. Yeah, for sure. But I guess that's that's to be expected, right? Yes. Yeah. But still, I think uh, Arms has, you know, Arms has played so many foxes over the years, and he's he's played Professor Pro so many times as well. The guys have trained together, right? So he kind of yeah. knows knows what he's doing, at least yeah. fundamentally, right? And he's using the yeah. the defensive forward tilts really well, and I. Think, I think that's one of the key things in the in the Sheik matchup, right? Mm. Uh, Ooh, I really like that movement. Oh my god! Like dash towards and they just walk up to Fox's shield. And Ryzon just giving him so much respect now with not shield grabbing. Yeah. Because he got punished for it earlier. It's kind of sad that because Ryzon like SD to zero earlier. It felt like it should have been a closer game.